Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rano Beer Review. Today, we are alleviating from beer, and we are doing Henkel Troiken Sparkling Wine from Germany. Basically, a poor man's champagne. It's 11.5% alcohol. It is brewed by the Henkel and Company, and then uh, a bunch of German things that I'm not going to try and pronounce. Basically, Henkel and Company. Uh, it's 200 milliliters, perfect serving size for people like me that aren't huge wine fans, or huge champagne fans, or don't have any friends coming over, so, you know, three little glasses are better than having some left over that you have to waste. A lot of my friends used to tell me that all export German wines were disgusting, not to drink any of them. I don't mind this. Uh, It has a lot of carbonation moving in the glass. It's very aromatic. You get a lot of dryness. You get a lot of citrus. You get a lot of apple. You get a lot of oak. Uh, it's a very, very, very light yellow color. It almost looks like pea. Pea when you drink a lot of water, you know, when it just has that hint of yellow. It's not a bad sparkling wine. I myself don't really want to pay the big money for more champagnes, so sparkling wines are the way I go. Very carbonated. I know this isn't really the proper sparkling wine glass. My wine glass selection is very limited since I only drink maybe three or four bottles of wine throughout the course of a year. Right now I have a few of those bottles in the back room still <laughs> just sitting there. Um, when my friends ask, I go, oh no, we're not drinking it so it's worth a lot of money never going to happen, but I just don't want to drink them. It tastes very dry, mouth-pucklingly dry. Also very crisp, though. There's so much carbonation in the sparkling wine, it's, it's not really funny. Lots of fruit on that dry palate. Almost like you're eating sour Granny well, really sour Granny Smiths. And, you know, grapefruit. I mean, it's not a grapefruit taste, but what other sour citrus is there really readily available? Uh, you got, you do have the woody taste in it, too. It doesn't look bad in the glass. It's the perfect serving size. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't smell bad. It's 11.5% alcohol, so it's it's on par with most other alcoholic levels for for the average entry level sparkling wine. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 10. I don't mind it at all. Nice and dry, nice and crisp, thirst quenching, good flavors, not garbage like I've been told. Hankel Trojan. Thank you for watching my Vine Rhino beer review. I'm being classy tonight. Good drinking for you.